ChatGPT has created a frenzy of conversation around the growth of AI, but not everyone is happy about it. In the past few months, we've heard a number of warnings around the development of AI tools. While in late March, an open letter calling for a pause on AI experiments was backed by Elon Musk. And now the, quote, godfather of AI is joining that call, warning that AI could be used by bad actors for bad things. Yahoo Finance's Diane King Hall has the details. Diane, not necessarily something that you want to hear from the godfather of AI. Yeah, that's right. The godfather of AI, Jeffrey Hinton. He's again known as the godfather of AI. He's sounding the alarm on artificial intelligence and the potential dangers associated with it. This comes on the heels of leaving his job at Google. Now, today in an interview with MIT's Technology Review, he said the concern is not just the technology getting smarter, but it figuring out ways to manipulate or kill humans. He said, quote, I want to talk about AI safety issues without having to worry about how it interacts with Google's business. Now, the 75-year-old British expat's career has hinged on the development and use of AI since the 1970s. His work is so recognized that he won the Turing Award in 2018, often dubbed the Nobel Prize of Computing. Yesterday, he announced his departure from the tech giant in an interview with the New York Times. The biggest risk he talked about was seeing the difficulty in preventing bad actors from doing bad things with AI. He's worried about future versions of the tech posing a threat to humanity because it can learn unexpected behavior from the data it receives and analyzes. In other words, once upon a time, he believed that the human brain was far superior to AI. Now he is worried about the potential for the tech to get smarter than people. That is always going to make people nervous mm -hmm. if you're thinking the AI is going to be smarter than us. Right. You know, we've had a number of executives that have come out and said, look, it's time to hit the pause button on AI because yes. things are moving too quickly. Um, why is he sounding off now? That is a good question because he talked about why he didn't sign that letter that Elon Musk signed and others in the industry. And there's another circulating within that ecosystem and why he didn't sign that. He said he wanted to be clear of his uh, uh, responsibility to Google, if you will, uh, and to be free and clear to speak freely about AI. Now, he did clarify in a tweet, he said that he left his job so he could speak publicly. He says that Google has acted responsibly when it comes to AI. So he's distancing his old company from the issues that he's bringing up, bringing up with regard to the potential threats and red flags that are, could occur from the use of AI and this rapid acceleration that we've seen with regard to its use from not just like you all talked about earlier issues with regard to education and cheating, but just far worse things such as election uh, misinformation and the potential to pivot elections and or war issues. Certainly a lot of risks mm -hmm. out there, why yes, so many indeed. people are now out there warning about the dangers of AI. Right. Diane, thanks so much. All right, you got it.